Why do you feel so entitled to the money of the man that you have? I just seen him blow $30,000 at the casino. Watch, it's just 18000 Missive woman do for her man. Everything. Read his mind. The new password bros be leaving America and and they be saying American women's standards high. But when you go to these foreign countries, you have to get the word of the father. You got to show your bank statements. You don't want to mess with us black women. He stated that black women do not know how to love black men. That black men treat us like crap. Hey guys, welcome back to More to Life. Before I get into this video, I ask that you like, comment, subscribe. Also, smash that notification bell just to be sure you get my videos as soon as I release them. Let's hop right into it. Besties, what's up? Listen, I gotta say this. A lot of people gonna get mad at me, but I'm just gonna say it. And I wanna speak to a particular group of women where it's like, the question is, why do you feel so entitled to the money of the man that you have? Why do you feel entitled to his money? No, real question. This is not a judgment question. This is just a real question. Like, why do you feel entitled to his money? Because you're having with him? Girl, I just seen him blow $30,000 at the casino. He can buy me that $18,000 watch. It's just $18,000. I seen him blow it. You know what he was doing? You know what that was called? Doing what he want to do with his own money? That's what? That need to be said again and again with fierce conviction. Doing what he want to do with his own money? That's what? Because this is the thing. I used to think just like that. Before I started making my own money and I was like kicking it with for lunch dates and little bullshit like that, knowing that I was broke as hell. When I started making my own money, my whole life changed. I remember one time I got so mad at this guy because he spent $5,000 at the blackjack table in 10 seconds. I'm like telling my friend like, oh, well, he should have asked me if I had food in my fridge before he spent all that money. He didn't even ask me if I was straight. You knew you ain't had no food in your fridge before you went out. And why is it his job? Because he girl gone you's grown and i know y'all gonna talk about my relationship oh well you you would and yep and he would have been too period and when you make your own money you realize that the relationships that you have a lot of them are out of survival so when you have your own you you're with people because you really want to be anything my for me is icing on the cake because i take care of myself the real flex is being with someone because you want to be not because you need them to survive no wait a minute she wasn't like that before was she let me take a look at this next video. I don't think she was like that before. Pick me's are women who try to do everything right just so a man can choose me. Yeah, cut that out. Cause I'll keep it real with you. Men already know what they want in a woman and who they want. But if you're so nurturing and you're an asset and it's not you, they'll never tell you to stop doing what you're doing because it's beneficial. And I don't want to hear none of like, oh, I'm just a nice person. I'm genuinely like that. Well, genuinely get played. Missive woman do for her man. Everything. What does that mean? You know, like packing his bag, unpacking his bag, um, just making sure all the things that he wants. And like, I, I pretty much read his mind. So it's like if I know you and I study you, like I know how you are in the morning. I know how you are about midday. I know when you're in this mood, what you need. Like before you can ever ask me for something, I'm already on it. I mean, he's spoiled. Boy, it is my joy. You know, I, I love to see him eating the meal that I cooked. I love seeing him sleep easy. Every night, like clockwork, I scratch this man's back to sleep. You said, come on, that's the way I like it. And I know when he's asleep because I can tell when his breathing changes. And some people might think that's psychotic, but that's like, I just know that's when I'm like, oh, I can stop now. That's usually my line. But I find joy in being your rest, you know? So know what that means. And, and that works for us because he wants what I have to offer. Just feel like cartoons, man. Decepticons, Transformer. Sorry, I'm late. I'm submissive now. I was taking in a harmonious moment between a serene butterfly and an unruffled caterpillar. Such. She just transformed. That's what they do. If you making 100 million, forget about it. She, she got on the floor in the bathroom and said, baby, take care of your business. <laughs> Rain and showers. Rain on me. She started singing. Rain on me. They're all the freaky stuff. Extra. I'll massage. I'll, be, I'll, go, I'll cut your head open and massage your brain. Get out of here. Next video. 
No, the, I do not like the passport bros, cause yeah, the them passport bros be leaving America, and they be saying American women standards hot. But when you go to these foreign countries, you have to get the of the father. You gotta show your bank statements. Huh? Come on. Money to provide for this wife. You're not just getting this. You're not. You're not just getting this woman. Just but they you're... want it because they don't want to mess with us black women. And that's fine. That's I mean, they can go. They can go. That's fine. That's I don't need. I only talk to people who are saying. interested in talking to so me. So that's, like, that's where I. Them. That's where I come in. Is is that? It's. I know. You know. I never liked them, but. Uh -uh. Who, it's, excuse it's, me, what, who are the passport bros? So passport bros are the men that leave America to talk about how American women are so <laughs> masculine and this and that. And they go travel to foreign countries thinking that they're going to bag those traditional women. No, passport them. bros go over to another country to find somebody that's not black. You did research. <laughs> they go mess with somebody money. else because they don't like us. But they don't be having a let's, they, they, let's just be real here. I'm going to agree with Tatiana on this because they're going to another country to try to get this maybe um, traditional woman. And they're going to be shocked because in some cultures, they're going to require a lot more compared to um, us in the States. You've never traveled. That's shit. That's my thought for it. Like my parents, like before I bring a guy home to even possibly marry I this guy needs to have money. He needs to be able to provide. He needs to get the blessings of my father. Your parents, but are you traditional yourself? Emotional damage. Will you do the things? Let me tell you something, right? When I got married to my wife, you know what she did? I don't think a lot of you would do that. She went to her father. Her father's a good chef. He knows how to cook. She wanted to make sure she knew how to prepare certain dishes. And she was in the kitchen practicing. I came downstairs one day and said, where's Kay? They said, she's in the kitchen cooking. I was like, what's she doing cooking down here? She wanted to make sure the dishes were perfect for me. I'm going to drive Father to even marry me he has to make he has to pass my mom and dad's standards so even if I think he passed my standards he still has to speak to my father and get the blessing that you know you can marry her and he has to come with something to the host is phony acting like she don't know who to yeah man wild but hey they don't even realize what he went wrong at and that's the sad that's the sad thing. They don't they have no idea where they went wrong at. And that's a problem. Right? You see what I said? Sacrifice and commitment. Commitment to sacrifice for your husband. To say, you know, I want to do whatever I need to do to please him. That's how they feel on the side of the world. That's how they feel in these other countries, not just here. They're thinking in their head, you know what? I want to do whatever it takes to make him happy. Alright? My wife, before, and I'm not saying every Filipina is like that, but she was. That was her goal to find a man. Since she was 20, she was like the woman in Vietnam. Not every Filipina is like that, but she was like that. She at 20 said, I'm old enough now. I'm 21 years old. I'm, I'm done with college. She thought like that. I'm going to get me a man now. He ain't lying. That was seriously her goal. When, where I'm from, I told to get the bag now. Night and day. Let me have on to the next video. This passport pop tagged me in a few videos and he stated that black women do not know how to love black men. And I would have to agree. Damn! I would have to agree. Um, but can you also consider, bruh, can you also consider that black men treat us like crap? That's the part about submission y'all don't, y'all leave out. Y'all treat us like trash. You don't like us. The truth is, no amount of loving you will ever be enough if you don't like us. <laughs> and so our, our history in this country is very long and tragic. And at this point, we're not serving one another. Let's just be, we're not serving one another. There's no love here. And so we have to love each other enough to let each other go. And so we wish the passport bros well. It is what it is. It happened, you feel that way. But... You know, most women aren't going to feel that way, right? Possessive. 
We want to nationally possessive. And it is coming a time to where they can have no choice. But you know what guys are doing? Guys are doing this. See? It says, Welcome to Get Your Passport, Kings. This is a promotion from this guy. Beverly to Columbia, she woke up and just started cooking for me. Right? And as I explained, it's not a back, it's not the fact that she's cooking. Like me, I can cook. I can cook four, five, six course meals, right? I need a woman to cook it clean for me. I wanted a woman willing to do it all for me. Willing and wanting, right? That energy. Like for instance, guys, when they over here say woman gets overweight, right? She's willing to do things to lose weight. We're in the West. She asked this woman the other day. She's overweight. Well, you met me when I was like this. I, I got a deal for me. You gonna pay for me to lose weight? You gonna pay for me? Huh? And it's great marketing because that, that right there behind her just sells it, right? But anyway, man, this needs to stop, right? And who needs to stop it? We need to keep going. We need to tell guys, hey, look, this is what's on the other side. I think where we're leaving from, the woman needs to quit it and say, good luck to you guys, right? And it's fine though, because all it's showing is showing guys why they leave, why we leave. It's showing the world why we leave. And that's just great for us at the end of the day. But yeah, guys, thanks for watching. Always remember, it's more than life, deal with nonsense. See you next video. This is the way. Passport, bro. Passport, no. I'm so